everyone welcome back to all things emmy where i'm going to show you how to create a really cute and easy mother's day gift a gift for a friend or just something that's just cute and fun so yes this is a planter isn't it adorable with the little ladybugs and the little daisy sunflower and look at that it is a real planter I planted catnip in this because I plan to put it in my window. I just think this turned out really cute. I hope you guys like it. So stay tuned to find out how to make your own planter just like this. For this painted planter, you obviously need a ceramic pot, some paint, something to mix your paint in, paintbrush, some wood pieces for a gate, a wooden flower, tacky glue, some ladybug designs, and a shallow pan filled with water. First you're going to start off by removing the little stickers from your wood pieces. And then you're going to take your wood pieces and set them in the water. And you're going to let them soak in the water for a good couple of hours. The thicker your wood is, the longer it will need to sit. The reason we're doing this is because the water will help the wood be more pliable so that you can bend it to be the shape of your pot later. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually paint all these wood pieces. I'm going to start with white for all of these fence pieces. I'm going to paint one side first and then paint the other side when they dry. And I'm going to use this green for the stem and yellow for the daisy with some blue because I think blue and yellow daisies are really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and paint these. I actually take yellow and apply it to these back petals here just because I think it will be a nice little splash of yellow there as well. Taking this iridescent blue and I'm going to apply it to the other petals, just like that. So I'm using a slightly darker green. Okay, so for the petals, I'm going to go back over the blue with a little bit of white just to make it a little bit more realistic looking. And I'm going to do the same in the center here, just to make it a little bit lighter. And there's my little flower. I painted the back side of this flower and the front side. I only painted the back kind of simply because the way I'm gonna place it on this pot is more like this. You're not gonna see the back side. And then I painted both sides of the fence pieces just because, um, well, you'll see both sides. So now to paint the pot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this bottom light green. And I haven't decided what I'm gonna paint the rim yet. If you have acrylic paint and you're planning to put this pot outside, you wanna make sure that you seal the paint so that it doesn't run off if it rains or it gets kinda icky outside. So as this dries a little bit, I'm gonna take a little bit of a slightly darker green and a small brush and I'm just going to flick it onto the green just to give it a little bit of dimension and the look of actual grass as you can see maybe hopefully I'm gonna paint the inside that same green color just because I think it'd be a nice contrast to soil now I'm only gonna go about part way down because it really wouldn't make sense to go all the way in if there's gonna be soil in there later and I paint the inside first so I can hold the outside of the lip without getting paint all over my hands because that wouldn't be so fun to clean off later and then for this outer lip I'm gonna paint that yellow because I think yellow would be cute okay so the little flower pot has dried and this is what it looks like it has a nice little shimmer to it now to seal everything in I'm gonna use some Mod Podge basically apply it everywhere uh, this is gonna seal in all the paint colors yeah, because nobody likes leaky pink everywhere. And I'll give it a glossy finish. So I decided I'm gonna let the bottom kind of hang down more at an angle like this and just have the top kind of jut out. Right where the yellow meets yellow, that's where I'm gonna glue this. I'm gonna use a brush just cause I'm cool like that. This also meets at about right here. So you wanna make sure that this bottom lines up so it's not crooked. And just let this dry for a couple of hours. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush again with some glue. And then just place them on. And you may need to paint the corners here, close that gap up. And then as that one dries, So 
so I have glued the little fence pieces all the way around and it looks like a little sunflower inside of a fenced in yard. Looks really cute, right? So I'm just going to take the Mod Podge and just basically apply it everywhere. And then while everything is drying, you can take little ladybug wood pieces like this. You can stick them onto the pot. So then it adds just a little cute charm. And there you have it. I'm going to let this dry and then I'll show you how it looks when it's finished. So now you've got this super cute little planter pot. It's a cute little Mother's Day gift. Now you can fill it up with soil. What I recommend doing is taking a little paper towel and just pushing it into the very bottom. And this will prevent the soil from leaking out. And then you fill it with soil and plant your favorite plant and then that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make this cute little planter. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials and fun DIY projects and cooking and all sorts of stuff. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you want to see. Uh, maybe another series of Pinterest made me do it or something like that. So uh, comment down below and let me know what you think of this cute little thing. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!